I'm Emma Massingale, horse trainer and adventurer. Hi everybody, I wanted to do an update video to let you guys know why there has been such a drought in my YouTube videos and why I haven't been posting any videos onto YouTube. Thank you to everybody who sent me messages and asking if I was going to go back to doing YouTube videos and the answer is yes. And I thought I would do a little video just to update you all and let you know what happened and why I haven't been able to post over the last few months. On the 6th of October, I was out carriage driving. Um, I was out with some of my little black Shetland boys and we'd had a fantastic drive. We were going out and we were just coming back home, going through our local village. And where I went over one of the drains in the road, the pony on the left, he slipped over and completely wiped out. Now he went underneath the pole and now the pole is the bit that goes in the middle between the two horses and attaches them to the carriage. Um, and he went underneath that and as he got up, he flipped the carriage over onto the road. And as he pushed the carriage or flipped the carriage over, I got plummeted into the tarmac. And uh, unfortunately I had a really bad accident. I managed to split my head open in three places. Um, I've got some good scars and uh, had to all stitch back together again. I also managed to break my shoulder and um, I split my collarbone into two pl places, broken in two places, and I've had to have that bolted back together again. Now at the time in the accident, it was awful. I mean, I the only bits I really remember is I remember the carriage going um, and then I don't remember my head hitting the tarmac or anything like that. Uh, I don't remember the horses cantering off. Luckily, Jeremy managed to go, or he was with me, and he managed to run off down the road after them. Um, and luckily, they had stopped at the bottom of a hill. I mean, they had uh, it had pulled one of the uh, yeah, they had turned tried to turn left to go home, and uh, it pulled uh, Victor underneath, and he had stopped the carriage because he, they couldn't move, so they were stuck. Um, and some very kind people who lived down there had grabbed hold of the ponies, and Jeremy came down and he sorted them out, um, and we put them, or they put them into this uh, person's garden, which was really, really kind of them. Uh, back, meanwhile, back up in the village, there's me sat in the middle of the road in a pool of blood. It was horrible. And uh, the doctor and nurse in the village came running down the road, came to sort me out, and they called the air ambulance. <laughs> you know, right, of all the places for this to happen, right? I, I live in the middle of nowhere. Like, it's really quiet around here, okay? And I drive all over the place. And this has to happen right in the middle of the village. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. I mean, what could have happened like on a quiet bit of road, you know? But no, this is right in the centre of the village, in front of everybody, right outside the primary school. So the doctor, they called the air ambulance and next minute there's a helicopter landing in the playground. <laughs> I dread to think what all the kids were thinking. Like, Louis, you're not in this video. Um, Louis, you're still not in this video. <laughs> And all the kids, I don't know whether I disrupted playtime or what I disrupted lessons, I don't know, but they had to they had to land the helicopter in the the playground and I was taken to the nearest hospital. Now it, the Devon and Cornwall Air Ambulance are incredible. The team were fantastic and as soon as you're in their hands you feel amazingly safe and, and well looked after. And they dashed me to the hospital where I had to have CT scans because of my head injury. I had, yeah, my face was all, I was all mess. <laughs> it was awful. Um, and then they were, I'm going to worry what to do about my shoulder, my collarbone. Um, shoulder was okay. It was just going to need to take time to heal. And my collarbone, it was doing this, uh, well, it was broken in two places to start with. And so they said they were going to have to operate on it. And then they sent me home uh, and then they cancelled my appointment. They phoned me to cancel my appointment that I was supposed to go to. Uh, and then about three days later, it started to, to do what they call tenting, which is where the, the bones start to pop out of your skin. So it was really gross. It was like pointing out here. I was like, oh, I was like, that is not right. I need to go back to the hospital. So on the Saturday night, I sh went back to hospital and a nurse and doctor came and looked at it and they said, oh, no, we're going to have to operate. So they got me all ready to operate and they sent me home again. <laughs> so no, they're not going to operate. <laughs> Um, but luckily I managed to get an appointment with a, a shoulder consultant and I went back and long and short of it is they did decide to operate and so I had surgery the next day and they bolted it back together again so I've got a big scar that goes along here like this all the way along there uh, and fantastically they've managed to bolt it back together brilliantly um, and so I had to then go home and spend loads of time recovering because obviously you have to have your arm in a sling I wasn't able to do anything for I think it was 12 weeks but by the time they'd um, nod it was more like four four months um 
and then they said oh you've got to leave it like six months before you can properly do it use it um to make sure you know it's not gonna um cause ongoing problems you know and, and need more surgery or anything else so it was looking at a long time you know for me i'm not a very <laughs> good patient i love to be doing and out doing and making videos and doing things with my horses um, and also this happened right in the middle of winter or coming into winter so poor jeremy he had to then look after all of my horses this is a time when you wish i could make it easier for him because where we live here like on a day like today and in the summer it's absolutely beautiful but it's incredibly hard work in the winter it's very very wet here <laughs> one of the local guys he describes it as he says we're drought resistant in this area <laughs> so it's i mean it's relentless the rain is unbelievable you, you wouldn't believe it i mean and having i don't know how many horses there are i don't, don't want to count maybe 25 or something you know that's a lot of horses that need mucking out and looking after so poor jeremy he was single-handedly having to do the lion's share of the work i sort of tried to show willing i could hold a hose pipe and fill up waters and um do hay nets and things like that but it was yeah it wasn't wasn't fun it was not fun um I didn't share at the time. I, you know, I, I was umming and ahhing as to whether I should do a video and say what happened. And I, you know, I know other people do. And I, I think if I'm completely honest with you, I kind of felt a bit embarrassed. And I, I felt like as a professional, it shouldn't really happen. And then I thought, well, no, that's crazy because, you know, these things do happen, you know, working with animals and sometimes, time to time, whatever you do, whether you ride a bike, ride a horse, do go for a walk, you know, sometimes accidents do happen. And, and when I think back, there wasn't anything the horses did that I could have prevented or, you know, and there was nothing that I did that was wrong. It just is one of those freak accidents and it just happened on that day. Um, it's been, I mean, it was like 10 years ago that I broke my back. So, you know, it's not like I make touch wood. It's not like I make a regular habit of this. So it was one of those things that I, I didn't really feel comfortable sharing at the time. But now looking forward, um, I want to get on to making new videos and I thought this is, seems a little bit strange having not posted for months and months and months and you know it's obviously been quite a big part of the last few months is recovering and getting better. I mean my shoulder now is is doing well it makes some good sound effects it now like grinds and clunks a bit <laughs> and, uh, um, but I have full movement of it and I can I can use it again now I'm just a bit a bit weak um, from from not using it. It's funny isn't it when you're one of those people who's like really active and doing stuff all the time when you when you stop you don't get really un unfit and then I'm, I'm not used to it so like trying to get on the ponies I put my hands on their bums and leapfrog on I'm, I'm like I can't get on <laughs> so, so I need to get a lot stronger and a lot fitter um but that'll come in time and also like for my head injury where I, where I bash my head uh, my balance is really odd I don't know if like concussion is you know it's, I think it's going to take a while to heal but I I still can't balance very well so Roman riding where you stand on top of the horses and I ride like that is a little bit dodgy at the moment <laughs> I'm a bit like Ugh. um but it'll come you know I just need to, to keep doing it and keep working on it and excitingly now looking forward we have so much cool stuff about to happen so at the moment we're just about to start our tour we're going on a UK tour with my ponies um I'm not quite sure <laughs> why I thought that was a good idea but I did and um makes me really nervous you know I spend all my time on my own at home with the horses and doing my own thing with my horses and up on the moors and on the beaches but there's like nobody around and then I'm going to take my horses in front of hundreds of people <laughs> so we'll see how they cope with all that but um I'm sure they'll be fine and and um and if they're not we'll we'll work through it as as they are and, and hopefully enjoy the enjoy the experience but I wanted to go on tour and I wanted to take my horses out because you know to me it's really important having you know me doing this job for more than 20 years I really wanted to share some of what I'd learned um and like the ethical side of horses and training horses is really important to me and I think sometimes you know we can get lost in in technique and method and, and all of that stuff and actually I really wanted to share on my tour how much having fun enjoying what you're doing and giving the horses a fantastic life um is maybe so much more valuable um to the relationship you can build with your horse than than just doing techniques and exercises in the arena so I'm really excited to be heading out with the horses and and sharing all that good fun stuff with everybody as we go where am I going with my YouTube channel? Well, we've got lots of different things. Having a period of time off gives you definitely a time to reflect, look at your life and to decide on what it is that I want to do going forward. And I have decided to make some changes. And over this coming year, um, certainly the next few months and, and the year, um, I'm going to be changing things quite a lot. I've got quite a few different ambitions and dreams of things I'd love to do. And I need to kind of make sure that that's I head in that direction you know it's not easy to do that when you you know you have a you have your life the way it is and 
you have to keep making changes um, to keep progressing forward. So I'm, I'm excited, um, but it's going to take time. So I'm hoping to make lots more YouTube videos to share that and share these new adventures um, with you all uh, as we go. And lots of that is going to be with all the horses, the teams of horses, getting out, having more adventures and yeah, and just being able to see a little bit more of the world. So I'm, I'm dead excited about the start of that. So I hope you'll remember to, oh, more cats, cats coming in at every angle here. The cat, we don't really need this cat. This is the savage cat, <laughs> the bad cat. Um, so I hope you'll all remember to hit that like and subscribe button. It would mean the world to me if you would join me on my adventures. Definitely put in the comments what sort of videos you like to see. I mean, I'm, I'm not a massive fan of filming me mucking out horses and that sort of thing. So, you know, I feel like there's more to life than that. I really want to share with you other other things and, and actual things that I do with my horses that, that I've been working on since I started all this as a 15 year old kid just out of school. Um, so hopefully we'll... <laughs> So hopefully you'll enjoy seeing those videos and um, I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care. Bye bye.